Welcome to our tutorial on data conversion functions. In this tutorial, we'll see examples of how to convert values stored in variables from one data type to another associated data type. In this example, we've got two variables. One is declared as a string, and the second is declared as an integer. In this example, the string type of data passes from the text box control to the string in variable. Next, the data passes through an ACS function. The ACS function converts a string argument to an ASCII number. Here's a table of ASCII printable characters. The letters are represented by the decimal numbers. The ASC function converts only the first character in the string and ignores the rest of the characters. The return value is stored in the int in variable, which is declared as an integer. Next, the return value passes to the caption properties of the label control. Let's see how it works. We'll run it. First, we'll enter an uppercase A. We get a return value of 65. If I enter a lowercase a and compute, my return value is 97. I know these to be correct ASCII values for these characters. Now if I input more than one character, let's use uppercase letters, for example. As you see, only the first character of the string was converted. Another example. Here's the cint function. This function rounds a fractional argument to the next highest integer. Let's see how it works. Let's enter 99.99. .99. Compute. Our return value is 100. In order to convert one data type to another, for example, if I input letters and try to convert to an integer, I'll get a runtime error type mismatch. Let's end. Let's say, as we know, integers can store values from minus 32,768, positive 32,767. Now let's say I enter a value of 40,000. Let's compute. We get another runtime error. Overflow is the problem this time. Basically, my maximum value here in this case is 32,767. Let me enter a smaller number and compute. This concludes our tutorial on data conversion functions.